Hello, this is Ryan Johnson from D3 Technologies. Today we're going to be talking about spline curves inside of Fusion 360. So let me jump into the design I'm creating. Here we just have a simple canvas attached and I'm going to start a new sketch right on that same plane. Now in this case we're not working with regular lines or curves. This shape is most accurately captured with a spline. So we'll take a look at a couple different tips for creating a shape with a spline. First of all, most people when trying to capture a complex edge or shape would just grab many different points along the edge thinking that the more points that I get, the more accurate my spline is going to be. And of course, now I can hit the check mark or swipe forward to OK. But let's take a look at the spline real quick. If I select the spline, right click and toggle the curvature display, we can see this is actually a very irregular spline. So even though it might look good from far away, this is way more complicated than it needs to be. So I'm going to cancel that, and we'll delete that spline. We're going to recreate it actually using only three spline points. Now you're not always going to get it completely right on your first try, but we'll just select three points and create that spline. What you'll notice is after creating the spline, if you grab any point, you can actually adjust that pretty easily. So we'll just drag this to about there. We now have a much simpler spline with a much nicer, smoother curvature. This is definitely preferred. Next I'm going to jump to the bottom and I'm going to create this shape. Again we'll just choose three points that approximate the shape. Uh, what we'll notice is the natural curvature of this spline is not going to be able to capture that tight corner in there. So we have a couple options. We could add additional points here, <clears throat> but what we can also do is grab any point on the spline and you'll notice there are handles. By simply clicking and dragging on the handles, we can actually adjust the speed of the curve through any interpolation point on this spline. So I can very easily just make it a little bit sharper and it gets much closer to that shape. If I ever want to revert to the default curvature, all I have to do is right click and deactivate the tangent handle and the curve goes back to its default state. Another option that I have is anytime I can right click and insert spline fit points. So if you ever want an additional point to move around, try to capture the shape you're looking for, maybe I'll add an additional point down here on the bottom. and that simply allows me to click and drag on that point to adjust my curve further. So there's a lot of tools we have here to just to kind of uh, capture the exact shape and curve we're looking for. Uh, this could still use some work, but I'll call it pretty good for now. And we'll add one last spline. Um, and the reason I'm doing this in three splines instead of one continuous spline is because I want those sharp corners. You'll notice what happens if you close any spline shape. Fusion will try to smooth that out to a smooth shape. Uh, in this case, not what we want, so I'll add my last spline just with three simple points. You can see we now do have a closed profile with those sharp corners. We can finish our sketch and pull this out into 3D. So hopefully those few tips on spline creation and modification helped you out. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to our team at D3 Technologies.